Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. Been getting a little bit of heat from some of my 357 Magnum fans out there, so I'm going to do everybody a favor, and we're going to do the 357 Magnum in the gel test. I love the 357 Magnum. I don't know why it's taking me this long to actually do it, but here we go. Something we're going to do a little different that we don't normally do here is these are all going to be factory loads. So we're going to have the 135 grain gold dot, the 158 grain Hydra Shock from Federal, the 158 grain Jacketed Hollow Point Federal, not sure what bullet that is, and the 125 grain Critical Defense. So, as always, Joe Block Jim will be joining us. Hopefully he becomes a, a fan favorite and he'll stick with us throughout the videos. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all want to ditch him, we will. But we've got a fresh gel block set up in the front a catch block in the rear that does have projectiles and wound tracks in it, but by then, wound tracks are settled down. Uh, this is a, a, what they call less than perfect gel block from Clear Ballistic, so it's a little bit uh, wrinkly. So, but we'll, we'll do the best we can with what we got, and we will get started. So I failed to mention, we're gonna be shooting it out of this 686 plus Smith & Wesson. It's a three inch barrel, so keep that in mind as we're going. We're gonna go heavy to light on the bullets, so first up is going to be the 158 grain Federal Hydroshock round out of the 3 inch barrel 686. Alright, so there you have it. Kind of hard to see in this jail, I know. I apologize for that again. There's our wound track. Pretty decent. Uh, pretty decent wound track all the way down. And there sits our bullet, and it's coming in 14 and 3 quarter inches. Looks like typical Hydra Shock performance. All right, so next up we'll do the other 158 grain Federal. Not sure what that bullet is. It may be the same. I don't know, but we'll see once we open them up and get one into the jail. Uh -huh. All right, so it's top tracked is our other 158 grain Federal. I snagged one. That is definitely not the Hydra Shock. That's the old school looking semi-jacketed hollow point, but good performance. Track down and you can see it's actually stuck between our first and second block. So we know we got 16 inches of penetration. It looked like Joe Block Jim went for a ride on that one. Next up. 135 grain spear gold dot. All right, so there at middle track is our gold dot. Good looking wound track. Settles down about eight inch mark. And you can see right there is our bullet fully expanded. And the bullet is resting right about 13 inches, maybe a little shy of that, but good performance. Next up, 125 grain Hornady FTX, critical defense. Guys, I thought we lost Joe Block Jim on that one. He ended up about 15 feet that way. He went for a ride, which granted that one hit real close to the top of the block, so I'm sure that affected it quite a bit. But speaking of that, there's our wound tract. Excellent looking wound tract. And it actually holds a good tract to about 10 inches before it starts to settle down. And if you look right there, you can peek and see the red tip sticking in the back of the first block. And there's the bullet just resting inside the second block. So we got 16 and three quarters inches of penetration out of that bullet. I'm actually surprised we didn't get more over penetration from some of these rounds. Let's dig them out and take a look. All right, guys, there are the bullets as they were fired. That's our Hydra Shock. I believe I might've hit table with it. It's got a little flat 
on the side and once I peeled it out I noticed the track was real close to the table to the bottom of the block so that may have affected that one a little bit there is our 158 grain semi jacketed hollow point reformed well for old technology for sure and that is our gold dot and look how perfect that thing is expanded I mean that is picture perfect you that looks like something out of their magazine and there's the Hornady FTX critical uh, defense and it performed well as well it probably was least well I know probably to it it definitely expanded the least as any of these but still expanded well and I don't know I couldn't call a winner on this one guys I'll leave that up to you all that concludes our 357 Magnum ballistics gel test. Let me know in the comments which one of those you think performed the best. If you want to see any other specific ammo shot through the gel with this gun, whatever, let me know. I'll try to do it. Ammo is kind of scarce, but we'll see what we can do. If y'all like today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, guys, stay tuned.